All right, so let's take a look at this thing here. See what we can do with it. I'll show you the issue with these. It's almost every single one of them is about the same. Uh, you can buy them new for 250 bucks or so at Wolfsburg West. So this is a 67, uh, and I think they still make them. Clocker Home made these a little cheaper quality. Um, the replacement one, and I think it was slightly different. I forget what it was. Maybe it didn't have this arch in it. So I always try and save them because uh, they're, they're totally fixable. Um, but what happens is water gets in here and then rusts through. And it's going to happen again someday, um, hopefully past my lifetime, because you cannot be able to seam seal in here. There's no way to do it. So uh, what I'm going to use, what I'm going to do on this one is it's actually rusted through here, you can see. And all along here, um, those are pinholes from the other side. So, yeah, all the way along, all the way over to right here, you can see where there's a rust hole. Wherever there was a weld, remember I was saying in other videos that when you weld it, it heats it up. That's why this, I think that uh, weld through primer is kind of like a, a gimmick a little bit. Because wherever you weld it, that's where it's going to rust first. And when you get it really hot, you know, I don't know how the weld through primer can actually hold uh, when it gets so hot that it melts the metal. So uh, I think it's pretty much impossible. So those areas are going to be your failure points and it's going to be your failure points whether you use it or not. So that's my, my opinion. Anyway, what I'm going to do on this one is I'm going to go ahead and cut this entire piece off. Not always necessary, but I have lots of sheet metal right now. I got a whole bunch of it at a good price. It was on the, it was in the remnant place. I'll just lop off a piece of this and bend that shape there and just do the whole piece. Cause then I'm not having to, uh, then I'm not having to slice, you know, splice it or anything. And then what I'll do is on for this side, since it's hard to butt weld, it's easier to, to lap weld things, I'll lap weld this and I'll put the piece from the inside first. That's why I want to take the whole thing off. I'll cut out what, whatever's bad here and then I'll lap weld it from the inside because it might be faster and easier to do that than trying to butt weld a piece in here, you know, with that angle and everything else. Um, it, I think it's going to be much easier to do. So. Anyway, we'll put you guys on hyperlapse. You can watch it in high speed. That way you can see what's going on. Then maybe you can figure out how to do yours. Um, I've done them a lot of times where they weren't this bad. And I've just patched in an area. You can do that if you want on yours. It just depends on what you want to do. Um, but for me, it's just easier this time to just lop the whole thing off and start over.
All right, so if you guys noticed, I used a straight edge to cut the uh, metal. Actually, I bent this one a little off. Actually, I'm not too worried about it because it's going to be on the inside here. So, no big deal. And I bent this in the metal bender. I mean, if you're doing a lot of metal work, it's just worth it to just buy one of those. I mean, they're expensive. They're 500 bucks now. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and clean the metal real quick. Um, and then uh, start welding, you know. I got to clean it. I got to treat it. So, I don't know if I'll get to welding it right now. I may have to do this a little bit later today. Let me see if I can get this up a little higher so you can see. How's that? Okay. So, I'll clean this up. Just going to clean it real quick. Um, treat the rust and uh, I'm also going to put this thing in the sandblaster just so it'll be easier. I don't know. Not a big deal. I can probably just run it real quick and then I'll just treat it. All right, I'll let you guys watch for a second. Nice work. So that's all ground down. Well, let me see. There's a little spot here I didn't get. So we're looking pretty good here. A little bit of All right, so I'm going to clean this off real quick. I'm going to put some rust treatment on here. Bring you guys back in in a minute. All right, so my rust stuff is still just about dry, but I'm... I don't know, I think I'm going to try and burn through it right here versus trying to grind it again because it's still just a little bit wet. But um, I'm going to clamp it down, do the do the outside layer first, and then do the inside layer. I'll show you what that looks like. Um, we'll run you through the hyperlapse on the welding, and then uh, clamp it, move it, clamp it, move it. You know, Make sure it's all down tight. And then from the outside, um, I'll have to weld it as well. So I'm going to use this 
put it in place, you know, uh, weld it on the inside like this, but I'm also going to have to weld it from the outer edge because it's going to be lap welded. And I'm not going to weld it all the way around. I'm just going to tack it a lot of places and then it'll be just fine like that. All right, so that's what I ended up with there. I'll show you guys real quick. This is all ready. I gotta do the inner panel now. So I'm gonna flip this over. I got that all ground down. Now it's gonna just take a little bit of filler there. Won't be much. It does warp the living crap out of this. I mean, I don't care how good a welder you are. You're gonna warp. Because pretty much when you cut this, it just, there's nothing holding it in place anymore. So I'm gonna put this piece on here I'll clamp it down like that make that my inside into your piece and weld that thing in and then I can finish I might am filling this real quick um, what we did on this here is took it and cleaned it and put it in sandblaster and then uh, heated it up and peel all the paint off of it and put it in the sand use a wire wheel and then Put in the sandblaster and finished it off with that. Um, and then coated the whole thing with rust treatment while I was gone. I had Chris do that because I was gone for a while. And uh, now I'm just going to weld this panel on here and then we'll be looking good. I'll bring you guys over here and we'll let you guys watch from the sideline and check it out.
All right, so here's what we ended up here. Uh, I got it pretty straight as far as that goes there. It's down low again. You're getting it. I always end up with warpage here because, I mean, I could sit there and play with it, but honestly, when it's all done, you can't see it because it's such a short area and it's underneath the bumper. So here's what this looks like. Um, a piece in there. Of course, I got a little bit of weld contamination because of this uh, stuff. But that's fine. You know, it's only, there's, look how many welds there are in there. And it, is it structurally doing anything? Not really. You know, so that's what matters. And this side's good. This side will get the uh, filler. No problem. Look great when it's done. Really won't take much work from here to finish it. Just a little bit of filler, some sanding. Uh, I won't even use a block, hand block on that at all. I'll probably just run it with the DA one way, the other DA the other way. And then uh, it should look great when it's all painted. All right, so that's it for this. Talk to you guys in the next one. We'll look at it filled later. Um, come back for those videos. There'll be videos on the stuff all filled in and finished. And you'll see, you won't see any of this stuff. Talk to you in the next one. Please make your comments.